Okay, this is going to be a slightly different video. This is going to be more of a, a hands-on exercise for you and I. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read you a post that I came across in a small business forum. Here, the forum poster is sharing their idea for their small business. And what I want you to do as I'm reading their post is I want you to try and recognize as many things that they are doing right and also any problems with their idea that you recognize. Then what we'll do is we'll compare notes and see how you did. This exercise will help you spot potential problems with your business, your product, and your service ideas too. So grab a pen and a scrap piece of paper or something to jot your ideas on. I hope this sounds good. Here we go. Okay, are you ready? You have your pen or your pencil, whatever, on your side. Here's the original forum post. Here we go. I'm going to open a tea house specializing in niche desserts not available in my local area. I haven't opened up anything like this before. I've only ever owned a dog walking business. I'm doing as much research as possible, researching successful cafes and tea houses, researching local tea houses to see what people aren't happy with so that my tea house can do these things right. Speaking to my friends who work in that industry for the lowdown on daily operations and tasks so I know how to streamline everything and what to expect. I'll be making sure quality and customer experience is my top priority. There's nothing worse than bad staff. I'm a bit worried because we are going to be so busy with having so many niche desserts that it will look ingrammable and taste delicious. Maybe you know what that means. Anyway, <laughs> with uh, but with my research and everything, it will be easier despite me not being in the industry. I was thinking of having a mentor, but I don't think I need one. I don't want to risk any of my ideas being stolen. The fact that I'm the first to do these niche desserts locally will be a main contributor to my success and the initial buzz should be great and long lasting. All right, so there you go. There's the original forum post. Let's now, I hope you jotted down lots of ideas on your side, lots of thoughts about what she's doing right, what she's not doing so well. Let's now compare notes. Okay, so there it is. What did you make note of on your side? Let's start off with the things that this person is doing right. Here's what I got on my side. In here, the forum poster said, I'm doing as much research as possible, researching successful cafes and tea houses, researching my local tea houses to see what people aren't happy with, that kind of stuff. This is killer. Deep, effective research is critical for a business's success. Research doesn't guarantee success, but it goes a long, long way to tipping the odds in your favor. The more you know, the more prepared you're going to be. Here's another thing that I think they're doing right. They said in here, I'll be making sure quality customer experience is my top priority. This is huge. Product and service quality should always be top notch. And it's great to hear that this person is prioritizing the customer experience. So those are the things that I think the forum poster is getting right. Now let's take a look at maybe some areas that they aren't doing so right. Did you write any of these down on your side? Here's what I got on my end. The forum poster wrote, I'm going to open a tea house specializing in niche desserts not available in my local area. How do they know if there's demand in their local area for specialized desserts? The forum poster goes on to say, I haven't opened up anything like this before. I've only ever owned a dog walking business. They not only have zero experience running a similar business, but they effectively have zero business experience. I don't think owning a dog walking business really kind of cuts it. No disrespect to dog walkers. So really, this person is starting from scratch. They're starting from zero. Here's something else that I picked up on 
from the forum post, they wrote, I'm a bit worried because we're going to be so busy with having so many niche desserts. I don't know if you picked up on that on your side. One of the biggest problems many businesses face is juggling too many products. There's literally too much on the menu. You know, I recently rewatched Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, the original UK series. And this is a very, very common problem with the restaurants that Gordon would go into. If you've never seen that series, by the way, the original UK version of Kitchen Nightmares, it's absolutely awesome. You got to check it out. Now, you may not be running a bakery or a restaurant, but how many products are you trying to sell in your small business? Do they complement one another or are they kind of all over the map and completely disjointed? Okay, here's something else that I picked up on from the forum post. The original poster said, with my research uh, in hand, with my research, everything will be easier despite me not being in the industry. And you want to know something? That's an opinion that the original poster has, not hard, cold fact. No industry experience. I would buckle up for a wild, bumpy ride. <laughs> Here's something else that I picked up on. I was thinking of having a mentor. I don't want oh no here it is i was thinking of having a mentor but i don't think i need one i don't want the risk of my ideas being stolen that's what they said now having a coach or a mentor or a more experienced business partner who has some industry experience is often exactly what's needed many new entrepreneurs and online business owners are unnecessarily worried about having their ideas stolen. You've got to remember that business ideas are a dime a dozen. So other people have started and run successful tea houses and bakeries. Big deal. What's rare is effective execution. I mean, did Starbucks invent coffee shops? No, obviously not. But they invented premium coffee and the effective execution that goes along with it. Okay, here's one more for you. Oh, where is it in here? Something like, um, here it is. The fact that I'm the first to do these niche desserts locally will be the main contributor to my success. And the initial buzz should be great and long lasting. Again, this is someone's opinion. It is not cold hard fact. Do they know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there will be local demand for their specialized desserts? Further, how do they know that they'll have initial buzz? Maybe they have some kind of a promotion or marketing plan in place that they didn't mention in their post, who knows? And how do they know it'll be long lasting? Now, I don't mean to poke holes, but I think it's much, much better to work on fact and on research and on data than to go off of opinions and feelings and hope and hunches. It's better to know this kind of stuff up front before getting started. I mean, after all, how much does it cost to open a tea house or a bakery? I have no idea. It's got to be more than 50 grand, 100 grand maybe, I don't know, let alone ongoing monthly overhead. I mean, this is expensive stuff. So maybe before spending that kind of money, it's important to ask a few critical questions first. Okay, so how did you do on your side? Did you pick up on some of these things? I hope so. Hopefully a few of them at least. And of course, what is next here for you? Well, pop open a new browser tab, head over to 10tononline.com forward slash free, and that's where you're going to find your free online business workshop, a self-paced class where you're going to get loads and loads of key insights and info about getting your business set up right the first time. Bring that notepad, bring your pen. I know you're going to love it, and I will see you there.